Maria. Hello, Maria. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. So, did you work graveyard last night or you finish at 11? I finished at 11. And today you finish at 11 too? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Josue Edgardo. Hi. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How are you, Jose? Very fine. Good. Yes, I'm great. How was your day? Uh, a little busy. Okay. Yes. Good. But it was, it was good. Nice, nice. Yeah, today is Friday, the last day of the week. Yes, yes. All right, good. So, do you have plans for the weekend? Uh, work. <laughs> I need to uh, to work, but uh, there are more tasks to do yes. for the for the. How do you say la siguiente semana? For the following weeks. Ah, okay. For the following weeks. Okay. Good, good. Araceli. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I buy. Thank you. All right, good. Very good. How was your day, Araceli? Hello. Did you have a good day, Araceli? Hello. I think you're having connection problems. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Araceli. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. Okay. Jimena, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Good, good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, today is the last... Uh, class of the week. We only have one more week to be officially finished. Congratulations because you have been perseverant and that is really good. Uh, what is today's date? Today What's... is Friday uh -huh. 28th. Good. Okay. So today is Friday, August 28th. Or you can say today is Friday, 28th of August. The two options are good. And the year is 2020. All right. So let's begin by reviewing what we did yesterday. Do you remember the topics that we covered? Mm -hmm. I should have. Should have, yes. Those are called past models. Should have, could have, may have, must have. And remember uh, that they have a contraction. Should have, the contraction of should have is should have. The contraction of may have is may of 
must have, you say must of. So uh, they have a contraction. So you use uh, may have, may have is pronounced may of. May of. Should have. How will you per use the contraction of should have? Should have. Should have. Should have. What about could have? What is the contraction of could have? Could have. Could have. And remember that uh, when you go to countries like Canada, the United States, Australia, where English is the official language, people use contractions all the time. So uh, you should be familiar with using contractions as well. So may of, should of, and could of. Okay. Remember that we use past models. Those are called past models to give your opinion about something related exclusively with the past. Hubieras venido, no hubieras venido. Hubieras pagado, no hubieras pagado. Le hubieras dicho, no le hubieras dicho. If it's positive or negative, they are always connected to past tense. So you use past models to give your opinion about something that already happened or something that didn't happen, but you wish you did in the past tense. Okay. Um, any questions so far about uh, past models? No. No questions, no comments. Today we have more practice with past models. So remember past models, they're always connected to the past tense. Hubiera sido, no hubiera sido. Lo hubieras comprado, no lo hubieras comprado. Hubieran hablado con ellos, no hubieran hablado con ellos. So the answer can be positive or negative, but they're always connected to the simple past tense. Okay, um, any, anything else about yesterday? Any questions or comments about yesterday? No? Okay, so let me share this screen with you. Mm -hmm. We are on page 29. Page 29. Give me a second. Right there. Give me a second. Okay, so please open your book to page 29. We will continue practicing with past models. 28, 29. Okay, do you remember yesterday's conversation here in part two? Do you remember that yes, conversation? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, yes. after you read the conversation, you're supposed to answer part three and also practice part four. So with part three, the sentences are incomplete. So you will complete the sentences using 
the previous information, the previous conversation. When you finish this, then you go to part four. So Maria, can you please read the first question? Have you ever gotten at last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Okay, very good. Thank you. Has that ever happened to you that uh, Francisco is supposed to be in your office at 7 a.m.? But 7 a.m., Francisco is calling and he's saying, look, I'm not coming. Okay, the next question. Volunteer to read the second question. How did you handle the situation? Okay, how did you handle the situation? Did you get a substitute? Did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibilities? So once again, you will go back to this conversation with this information, you complete part three, and then you go to part four and give your opinion about this. So uh, let me assign you to work in pairs, create rooms, and here we go. So read the conversation, complete section three, and then you speak question, uh, part four. Fernando. Hello, teacher. How are you, Fernando? Oh, a little tired, teacher. <laughs> okay. I feel a little bit tired, too. Yeah. Okay, let me assign you to room one with Coralia okay. and Ronald. Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Which we, section are you doing now? The number three. We start with the number three. Okay, very yeah. good. Very good. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Ball letters. Ball letters. Ball letters. <laughs> okay, what, ball is the letters. what is the function of ball letters in, in the dialogue, Christian? In the dialogue, dial, dial, dialogue, <laughs> dialogue, dialogue is um, um, resaltar. I, I don't make I don't emphasis, know. make emphasis, make emphasis, make, emph make emphasis in in the in that conversation. Very good, nice. The internet, I can understand you. Who is your partner, Araceli? Yes, Araceli, but I think she has problems. Yes. With the internet. Yes, I think I will move you to another room because Araceli does have um, connection problems. Let me see. Okay. I will move you to room two and I will also move Araceli. Okay. Ana Raceli and Mercy. I will send you room three.
<laughs> you didn't go to your work. 28. Or... Hey, teacher. 20, 29. Hello, question. Hello, yes, sir. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I, I have a I have a question about the topic that I saw yesterday. Okay. Uh, in the case of I, I I give you an example. Good. I I, I could have eaten pupusas. Yes. In, the, in that case, uh, in in in, this, in Spanish is yo pude haber yes. comido. Yes. Yo pude haber comido. Okay. In the case of I would. Uh, I would have eaten pupusas. Uh, means in the, in the Spanish, yo habría comido. Exactly. Exactly. Yo habría comido. Yo habría. I saw I, I saw in the conversation a mix because uh, you can find uh, the third conditional in the conversation. Okay. But yes. it's other topic. I know, but, yes, but because for me it, it's very confused. Uh, the thing is that when you're when you're speaking the language in a real conversation, you make a combination of different tenses without planning. So you said, look, in the conversation they use past modals with the first conditional. Yeah, it can be second conditional with the past modals. It, 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 the, the the exercises can come all mixed up in a real situation uh, yes okay, okay but the translations that you're given are are correct are good okay okay thanks teacher all right very good okay, uh, okay. we are uh, practice the page number 29 and we have to do the part two the part three and the part four Right okay. now we we are doing the part four. We oh. have to answer the the question and the first we discuss is have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Okay. If this happened to you once? Or maybe one time. For the employees is is repetitive mm. and absent. No, it's not rep, rep, repetitive. 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 Mm -hmm. It's not. I have responsible um, members of my of the staff. So they, if they don't, if they have problems, they notify, and we know that the absence is, is because a serious problem. It's not a problem with us. It's not a problem with us. Good. Same day. For example, uh, she went to, to the hospital. Oh, mm -hmm. she went to the clinic. The my boss told me the day the, the day before yesterday. El día después, así es, teacher. The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. And and in the moment we we organized the the work of my Uh, question, right? Right. Okay. Have you ever gotten a last 
minute notice about a member of your staff, staff not going to work? I, I, I don't have this experience because yeah. I, I, I don't, I am not a boss. Oh. So, but I, but I saw in my, in my experience, in my job that someone uh, in, in any time uh, can arrive late at your work. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the best option because anyone uh, can can be in, in this situation. Mm -hmm. So if you if you go to the to your work and you and maybe you can and maybe you arrive late, and then the better option is uh, make a call to your boss and explain uh, the the cause. Uh, for for your I don't want I don't know what to say for I'm, being late for being late being late okay yes uh, in my case What part? Part number number two, number three, and number four. Okay. Well, what is missing? Uh, what part is we, missing? We are discussing the part four. We already mm. discussed the the first question. Mm. Um, I don't know if that question happened to you sometime. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff? Um, in my case, for example, I also, I don't have an, an staff that I have to, to handle. But uh, in my case, for example, a month ago, uh, my coworker, has a baby so in my case was kind of difficult because she supposed that she will give give birth how do you say give yes. birth yes give birth give birth give birth or uh in this month maybe this week but she had a she has the baby before that the week that she has to to get beer so was in my case was kind of difficult because some some things i i cannot do it at that moment so i have to to try the handle the situation because i have to to cover a my co-worker so all right yeah it happens many times when someone is absent uh, they assign another person to take his or her responsibilities so sometimes you need to learn how to do these things yes yes all right i think teacher is different when you work at the school 
right. It's more easy. Yeah, it's cover. easier, mm -hmm. right? Because you, everybody's doing the same things, you know. So you are familiar with the subjects. So yes, with teachers, if they tell you with enough time, like, uh, okay, uh, Jimena, you're going to be the substitute for Maria. Uh, Beatriz, whatever, on Monday, mm -hmm. you know exactly what to do. Exactly. Okay. De, uh, ay, se me las palabras en inglés. ¿Qué dice el, el alcalde? Alcalde, how do you say Mayor. Uh, the mayor. Mayor, mayor. About what? For the, the carnaval on San Miguel. Ah, it's suspended. Ex it's suspended. Serious. Yes, it is suspended. For first time in 20 years. In too many years, yeah. In, in how many years they, it was suspended? Not 20. 20. Not yes, 20. since, since uh, the last mayor, I'll forget the name, mm, the, the, who said that, the Choto. Will uh, Salgado. Uh, Will Salgado. Mr. Yeah. Will. Will Salgado was in the, in the, in the charge for 15 years. But who canceled? What? But who was the last one to cancel the carnival? No, we don't. In Samuel, they have. Yes, the it's the first is, time. It's always happened. It's not. It, it, it's the first time. Right. And, and that was my yeah. question. Why the first time in 20 years? Because I remember that it has never been canceled. Never. I yeah. think it's almost 16 years. So exactly. 16. Oh yes, 16 years. Yeah. So Samuel, I don't know what happened to you, but, <laughs> but we, we haven't canceled Carnival. Ever. Ever. Right. <laughs> but he, yes, for this year, it's canceled. He's working more to to give the people food and something like that. Okay. He's working a little. A little. Yeah, yeah. San Miguel <laughs> is one of the cities that show a lot of um, questions on who's going to be the next candidate. I mean, the the, the next mayor. You know. So. Yes. <laughs> it's like a show of that. Yeah. Because he is a the the candidate and they are people like they have been outside San Miguel and now they they come and uh -huh. say I'm from San Miguel, I love the people here in San Miguel, but it's not true. And people in San Miguel knows that. Okay. So, yeah. All right. We'll see. Okay. All right, did you guys finish uh, um, the, the the exercises? Yes. Christian and me, yes. Samuel, I don't know. Samuel just incorporated, huh? Yes. yes. Okay, so I let's... I don't know what is the exercise. Okay, we'll tell you right now. Let's go back to the main <laughs> session. Okay. 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 All right, welcome back. Um, were you guys able to finish all the exercises, two, three, and four? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, um, how do you say letras negritas in English? Capital letter. Bold letters. Bold letters. Bold letters. Oh. Yes, no, may letters. Mayúscula. Right. <laughs> So, if you say capital letters for mayúsculas, how do you say minúsculas? Mm, I don't know. You call them? Lowercase. Exactly. Lowercase. It's in the chat. Lowercase. Okay. Anyways. So, what is the answer uh, for number one in part three? What is the complete answer for, for number one? I should have told you earlier. Okay. And what is the contraction of should have? 
Should. I should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. So I should have told you earlier. Very good. What about number two? He. He should have he should called have me called. directly. Okay, he should have called me directly. What is the contraction of should have? Should have. Should have. Should have. Very good. And number three, if he had called to my phone. I could have I found could have a substitute by now. Very good. What is the contraction of could have? Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. So do you see the chat that I wrote? May have. Should have. Could have. No. So I, I wrote it in at 8.07. May have. Should have and could have. That is the you contraction. You can see it. Okay, let me see it. Um, copy, paste. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Thank so you. right there, I write the the past models and how they are pronounced when they are contracted. Like I was telling you before, uh, native speakers, they use a lot of contractions. So it is your responsibility that you guys are familiar with contractions as well. Okay, uh, any questions in part three? No? no. Okay, so let's go to part four. Have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Has that ever happened to you? Yes. Yes, many times. Okay. Many and, times. and how did you handle the situation? What was your reaction? Did you call a substitute or did you begin doing his or her work? I was to work alone. One more time, Samuel. I was to work alone or by myself. So you began uh -huh. doing the person's work? Yes. Okay. Someone else? Someone else, someone else? What was your reaction in that case when someone called you at the last minute? It happened to me once uh -huh. that I was a working graver, graveyard, uh -huh. Uh -huh. from 3 to 11 p.m. Okay. And la around 10.30, my partner called me that he was in the hospital. Okay. She was sick. So he to she told me that I have to, to do uh, her, her job. Shift. So, her shift. So I... I stayed at home from 11 to 7 a.m. And I was like, I want to sleep. Yes. And then I have to stay yeah. at work. Right, right. And it happens. Yeah, and I think it's more serious when, when the person being absent, you know, had something important to do and someone else had to take her or his position, so. Exactly. Okay. All right. Um, anybody else? Any questions or comments? No? Okay, so right now, please go to the next page, page 30. Page 30, part five, has the explanation of the exercise um, we were doing yesterday and today. Can you see the image? Yes. Okay. So it says use perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. Past actions. So whenever you're saying past models, they're always connected to activities that already happened. So should have plus past participle to talk about regrets. Do you remember the meaning of the word regrets? 
arrepentimiento. Yes. So you say, hubieras hablado con el supervisor. Or, no hubieras hablado con el supervisor. So esos son arrepentimientos. So you use should plus have. And the form of the verb is past participle. Look at the following example. I should have sent the report sooner. How do you say that one in Spanish? Yo debería de enviar los reportes pronto. Okay. ¿Hubiera? Yo Debí, hubiera, perdón, debí haber enviado. Debí haber enviado el reporte más pronto. Más temprano. Okay, so imagine that you receive a memo and says, Francisco, we did not receive the information. So you will receive a, 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 a report, a warning, whatever. So I say to myself, I should have sent the report sooner. And look at the last one, at the other one. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. How do you say that one in Spanish? No debí. Pedirle. Ajá, que no debí se llevara las cajas Exacto. o que cargara las cajas. Ajá. No debí pedirle Esas cajas. que se llevara las cajas, que las cargara. So maybe the person carrying the boxes, she dropped the box and she broke the content. So then you say to yourself, I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. No le hubiera pedido. Pero lo hubiera no existe. Exactly. So <laughs> if you say if you say the first one, which is positive, or the other one, which is negative, the two examples are connected with something in the past. Hubiera enviado el reporte más temprano. The message is, I didn't send it when they asked me. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes. No le hubiera pedido. The message is that the person asked her to carry the boxes. Now, any questions here? Are we okay here so far? Okay. Okay. So if you see the, the following part of the box, could and would have are often used with if I had plus the past participle. If I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. Here, we're making a combination. If I had known you were sick, si yo hubiera sabido que estabas enfermo, I could have gotten a substitute. I could have this, gotten this, a substitute. This is a third condition, uh, Um. It's a, in a way, it could be the third conditional, but when you say, if I had known, that is the, uh, the past perfect. Okay. Está lleno el bar. Perdón, no so Maria began dancing. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so if I had known you were sick, si yo hubiera sabido que estabas enfermo, hubiera podido conseguir un substituto. So once again, I could have gotten a substitute. Pude haber conseguido un substituto. If I had known you were sick. Look at the other one. The manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. Do you have manager? Yes. In the in the in the first example, I, I can put would. I will uh, have gotten. Yes. Yes. That's a very good question. Pude haber conseguido o hubiera conseguido un sustituto. Yes, you can. Oh, I will. Pude haber conseguido sustituto or I would have gotten a substitute. Hubiera conseguido un substituto. So the message is very similar, but in that particular sentence, you can use would as well. Yes, you can. 
Okay, thanks. Okay. So the manager could have fixed your schedule if you had mentioned it to him. How do you say that one in Spanish? El manager hubiera arreglado el, el horario si lo hubiese mencionado. Okay, el manager pudo haber arreglado el horario, pudo haber arreglado el horario. Si se lo hubieras mencionado a él. Yes. If you have Remember that in English we have 12 tenses. So in this case, we're using past models or perfect models in combination with the past per. Now look at the last one. I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. How will you say that one in Spanish? I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. No hubiera venido a trabajar si hubiera recibido mi horario a tiempo. Exactly. So the message is the person didn't go to work because this person did not receive the schedule on time. So once again, like I tell you, mm -hmm. um, the sentence can be positive or it can be negative, but they're always connected to something in the past. Any questions or comments? Teacher. Yes. Yes, me. Yes, In the two sentence, the manager and I will have come, it's the same if you put first if I. For example, with the second Very sentence. Very good question, yes. If you have mentioned, if you have mentioned it to him, the manager could have fixed your schedule. It's Very the good. Same... It's the same message. Mm -hmm. It's the same message and it's possible. You can change the position of the structure and the message is exactly the same. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, um, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, mm -hmm. so um, let me... Send you this image. Ha, ha, ha. Give me a second. Or you can use it in your um, take the image right there. Let me see it. room 18 right here. All right, so um, so I'm sending you the the image to the WhatsApp. So you guys work together. Let me reassign you. So I have of room. Move to room five. Move to five. Move to room six. Move to room six. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. And Exchange with him. Exchange with her. Okay, and I will move her to room four. All right, so practice on that exercise, and here we go.
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Magdalena? Hello, teacher. Okay. Like, like, who was the one that is a math teacher? Teacher, math teacher? Eduardo? He told me that he forgot, yeah. He forgot the, forgot the, the class. And he was <laughs> checking her phone and he saw the, the t-shirt I, I saw the message and I <laughs> feel like I slept. <laughs> she told me, I, she told me about yesterday that he, she was sick, so. I can connect yesterday, teacher. I was very sick from the allergy okay. and I can read okay. And I take a nap and I wake up to 10 p.m. and I feel like, oh my God, the class. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I imagine that you had finished uh, work late and that when you arrived home, you were tired. But I, I didn't imagine that maybe you were sick. Yes, all the all week I was so sick from the allergy and the class uh, when they finished the class and uh, yesterday a uh, co-worker was so smoking when uh, iba en el camino, iba fumando en todo el camión, entonces todo el olor me pegó yeah. y por más que me mediqué, ya en la noche era como ya no aguantaba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, secondhand smoking is, is, is really bad. It's worse. Yes. Ni las mascarillas filtran yep. ese olor. Exactly. Okay, but you're yeah. back. Yes, That's I'm back. Good, good. Mm -hmm. very good. Today, the manager, I was sick. Yes. Is exactly but i never can finish all the levels in a step by step i try to to take my english class because always 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 i stop in the level 12 is when we are uh, talking about a uh, the participle, past participle, and then I never study a uh, complete this topic. I know this. Hello, teacher. Yeah, so this is your time to complete it, Rocio. <laughs> yes, teacher, I have to do. Exactly. Don't, <laughs> don't stop in the middle. You have to finish this. Yes, thank All you, right. teacher. Very good. Los meseros están en problemas y vienen tarde para la reunión. In so which one are you doing? Number three. number three. Number three. The servers. The servers would have would have been. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. have would have been, been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Yes. Would be in trouble. Would have been. Would have, okay. would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Uh, if you can see at the beginning of part six, mm -hmm. they ask you to say would plus have and been. Mm -hmm. Past participle. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. Yeah. Teacher. Today the traffic was terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. Yes, sir. The traffic was stuck. 
Is it's correct to see the traf the track the traffic was stuck? No, I was stuck. I was ah. on, on traffic. I, I was stuck in traffic. Ah, okay. I was <clears throat> stuck. I was yeah. stuck two hours in traffic. Really? Where, Marcela? Yes, en la cima. Okay. La cima, este, se ha caído una bóveda y no hay paso. Really? Esto que dar una gran vuelta, sí. Está horrible, me tardé dos horas en venir. My goodness. So, so where mm -hmm. exactly is the problem? Por, por la despensa de Don Juan, en la okay. entrada. Yeah, mm -hmm. in that area on a Friday night, it's nothing nice. Imagine now it's terrible. Two hours. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine. So we're getting back to normal as the old days. Yes. Like so. the old days. Okay. Luis. Hi, teacher. How are you, Luis? Hi, teacher. How was your day? Uh, very hard. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes. Okay, good. But you're in class and that's good. Okay. <laughs> good. All right. Um, let me visit a couple of more rooms and then we go back to the main session. Okay. The cashier yeah. should know how to take the money from the register. El cajero no debería haber tomado ese dinero registro. Okay. Which number are you doing? Number six. five. Five. Okay. Number six. El cajero no debe haber tomado el dinero de la registradora. How do you say that one in English? That one. The cashier shouldn't. No. Yes, uh, shouldn't. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't yeah. have take. Take. Taken. 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 Okay. Taken the money from the register. Register. The cashier should have. Shouldn't have, have. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. No. Taken the money from the register. 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 Mm -hmm. Very register. good. Very good. And what would be the last one? I. I, have I should call have called call it call it. to let Hold. them call to called. let the money called. Uh -huh. Should have called to let the manager is what sick. Okay, to let the manager. Um, I, I, was I was sick. Should have called it. Yeah, I should have called. Should, I should have, have called. called. Should have called. To let the manager, to let the manager, ahí le hace falta una palabra, to let the manager know I was sick. I was sick. No. To let the manager know I was sick. No. Yep. Okay. Did you finish all of them? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. So let's go back. Okay, may I have a volunteer to do number two, please? Number two, the bartender. The bartender shouldn't have taken. Yes, very good. Shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Uh, someone else, number three, please. The server would have been in trouble if they have been late to the meeting, for the meeting. Very good. The servers would have been in trouble. Very good. Okay, what about number four, someone else? Uh-huh. 
You should ask the manager for a day off. You should have asked the manager for a day off. Very good. Should have, should have, should have, should have asked the manager should for a day have, off. Good. Have, what about have, number five? The cashier should didn't have taken the money from the register. Good. Shouldn't have taken, shouldn't have taken that money from the shouldn't, register. Shouldn't, shouldn't have uh, taken. Shouldn't. Now remember that the, the form of the verb is always past participle. It's mandatory. It's past participle. And number six. I, I should have called to let the manager know I was sick. Very good. I should have mm -hmm. called to let the manager, let the manager know, know I, was sick. I was sick. So after mm -hmm. manager, you guys need to write no. Mm -hmm. You need to write no. Okay. Um, any questions or comments? No? Okay. So let me... Take attendance, uh, Sophia Stephanie. She's absent. Fernando Arturo. Present, teacher. Okay, Coralia. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, let me. Okay. Uh, Ronald Umberto. He was here a few minutes ago. Uh, Katia Marcela. Here, teacher. Okay. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Okay, Jimmy. Uh, Christian Alexander. Okay, he's absent. Josué Edgardo. Present. Good. Jimena Alexandra. Present. Very good. Um, Samuel Rosales. Present. Good. Rocio. Present, teacher. Good. Um, who's this one here? Mercy. Mercy Rivera. Present. Very good. Araceli. Okay, Araceli. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Okay. Helen Lopez. Here, teacher. Okay. Luis Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Stephanie Montano? No. Christian Omar? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Wendy? Present teacher. And Magdalena? Present teacher. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, any questions in exercise six? No? Okay. You see part seven says, read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who's taking it. Number two. Someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. Number three, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. And the last one, the schedule is a mess 
and it's very difficult for staff to understand it. Any questions about these five different scenarios? We have to choose one and discuss. Um, it says that read the following situations, but if you choose two of them, that will be enough. Okay. Okay, are the situations clear, people? <laughs> Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? Okay, so let's do this again. Eight and nine. Room eight. Uh, room eight. Let's see this here. Move to room nine. Move to room nine. Move to. Okay, so move to three, move to two. <laughs> Move to nine. Good. Right now it's okay. Sometimes it's it's complicated, but but not always. No, not in always. Maybe one crisis and on the week and. Before it was like uh, all the week I was in crisis. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and the following situation and discuss with the partner about the action a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. Okay. How would you say hubieran puesto cámaras? They... That is they your... Should. Uh -huh, they should. should. They should. should. They should have what? Put they a... should have... Cameras? They should have put cameras. cameras. Mm -hmm. they, should. they should have installed cameras. Yes. Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, cuando, en inglés, cuando uno se quiere refer, referir a aire acondicionado, ¿cómo hay alguna como contracción? AC. Como AC. 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 Yes. Uh, AC. Thanks. 
Okay. Donde yo labor. What happened in your workplace, Araceli? Okay, but what happened? What happened? What, what is the story? Um, eh, eh, some, eh, well, my co-worker uh -huh. uh, disappeared eh, the money. Okay. Eh, my, my boss. My boss hired a detective. A detective? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did but, they, uh huh? But, but, but not, uh, not, no solution. So they didn't find uh, the person taking the money? They no. didn't find the person. No, no. Okay. So what happened after the investigation? Did they fire anybody? Yes. yes. They did. Okay. Yes. All right. How do you say teacher? Yes. In, in that case, uh, Ana Araceli said, um, justos por pecadores. Uh, the right doers pay for the bad ones. The right doers pay for the bad ones. Could you write in the chat? Please? Yes, right now. Hold on. Right doers pay for the bad ones. Right doers pay for the bad ones. Right there. Right doors pay for the bad ones. Yes. Okay. In that Look. case. <laughs> yeah. So right doers they pay uh for the bad ones. Yes. Yes. Okay. In in the um, in this part in the first one hypothetic case. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who is taking it. Okay. Um, we we make a, a sentence using the past model. Yes. So you should say, okay, someone is taking money, but I cannot say who's taking it. What is your opinion? Hubieran puesto cámaras. Okay. How okay. do you say hubieran puesto cámaras in English? It, they should have they should have um put taken, cameras put, they should put, have cameras. put cameras put camera put camera yes right okay all right i could have pay a security yes okay. yes 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 okay good Okay. In order to use the the past models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the number two, someone broke three bottles of the vet of the best wine in the restaurant, but no none of the servers has reported reporter. Yeah, reported. The is, the, uh huh. The, the issue. Is, issue. Yes. The issue. Okay. For the example, uh, fuera del contexto, para de, yo podría seguir los documentos perdidos, podría des, este. Eh, yo podría. I, I, yo podría conseguir los documentos perdidos. Okay, but that is general. Eh, is, uh, I could get the lost documents. Yes, I could get the lost documents or I could get the missing documents. Yes. The missing documents. Right. Missing okay, means extraviados. Lost means perdidos. Okay. Yes. Mm. I 
Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Which one are you doing? I didn't hear, teacher. Josue Edgardo, we cannot hear you. Sorry. You were on ah, mute. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we are keeping a minute of silence. Oh. <laughs> yes, so for, uh -huh. for the Black Panther. The Black Panther? Forever. He's about to die. Which Black and Panther? Marvel. The actor. Oh. Oh, okay. He passed away. Okay. I want to cry. <laughs> and, 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 and who is this actor? Did, did he really die? Yes, yes, today he is. Oh, what happened to him? He had a cancer. Really? Yes. I read the, the, the newspaper about, do you remember El Loco Valdez? Yes. He died. And, and I was I was checking his um, the, that information that he died of skin cancer. Uh -huh. Yeah, cancer. yeah, skin cancer. So all the cancers are are serious. Yes. All the cancers yes. are serious. All right. So let me visit one more room. Time if lose, if lose a tablet, and the 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 director, the director, I don't know. The director. The director and uh, discount of of us uh, some some count. Uh, okay, uh, so some person. So he so, deducted uh, a percentage of of the tablet. Yes, yes, he. he okay. A percent. And How do you say percentage? Percentage. Percentage. Let me write it in the chat. Uh, percentage. Percentage. A percentage. Yeah, percentage. You know that is the that is the a very common measure when something is lost or something is stolen. Everybody pays a a, a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. It's yep. too. It's too normal. Yeah. And did they ever find who was responsible for taking the tablet? No. Never. Never, never. I think the tablet get lost, uh -huh. but but nev never, never know how. <laughs> never okay. knew how the tablet lost. Right, right. Yes, that is a complicated situation in my world because every time to have a new things or a new uh, apparatus, technologicos. Yeah, appliances. Appliances and new appliances. We the the director always remember that situation. Right, right. Yes, it is some incomodo. Uncomfortable. Um, it's some uncomfortable because uh, yes, ne nobody nobody knows about that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, it, it happens in. Different institutions, public, yeah. private. There's always people that they take things that don't belong to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that is some normal. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be normal, but that's that's our reality. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Exactly, it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be. Okay, so let's okay. go back to the main session. <gasps> okay. All right, all right. Are there any questions um, related with this exercise? 
So the first example says money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who's taking it. In my opinion, the manager could have prevented the situation if he had put a camera in his office. Very good. He could have prevented the situation if he had put a camera in his office. Very good. Nice. What about number two? Someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. What do you say in that case? How do you say hubieran sido más responsables? Hubieran sido más responsables. Will have been more, more responsible. responsible. They should oh. have been more they responsible. Yes, they should have been more responsible. More responsible. Yes, they should. should have been more responsible. Okay, number three, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. What will you say in that case? They should have hired more personnel. Good. They should have hired more personnel. What about number four? The kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. What means taking stuff? Uh, taking things. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh huh. How do you say pudieron haber hablado con él? Okay. Pudieron haber hablado con él. They should have. Okay. They could, they, they could have talked. They could they have. Could have. Could have spoken, spoken to him. Spoken. They could have spoken to him. Spoken. They could have spoken to him. Could have spoken to him. Could have spoken to him. And number five, the schedule is a mess and it is very difficult for stuff to understand it. How do you say lo hubieran explicado? Mm. They should have, they should have explained it. Yeah, they should have explained it. <laughs> they should have explained it. Very good. Remember, when you say lo hubieran explicado, that is uh, the plural form. So in English, to sound plural, it is necessary that you always mention they. They. Lo hubieran explicado. So you say, they should have explained it. They should have explained it. Yes. All right. Um, any questions, any comments on page 30? Page 30. No. No, teacher. Okay, so let's make a pause. Let's um here, here. Okay. Can you see the image? Yes. What's the name of the see. article? Healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle. Do you have a healthy lifestyle? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, so listen to this. Uh, before we do the listening, we have to do some speaking. Can somebody please read the pre-listening exercise? Think of five important steps to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Write them down and look up information of the internet to support these ideas. Very good. So you have to mention five tips or five steps on what to do to maintain yourself healthy. And you have to explain how to do it. Okay, so let me um okay recreate okay, so 
exchange with this one, exchange with this one, exchange with him. Exchange with him. My goodness, what did I do? <laughs> okay, right there. Break up rooms. Right here. Okay, so discuss the five tips uh, of how a person can improve um, their lifestyle. All right, here we go. to arrive at her house. So I think this is the same uh, before coronavirus. Yes. But it's our life, so. <laughs> and also because it's Friday. Yeah, it's, it's Friday, it's people, people, have, people have money. Yes. Bars uh, are open. <laughs> Yes, that is the problem. Yeah. What about you, Araceli? Araceli? Can you hear? Can you hear me, Araceli? You need to change your company, your yeah. connection. Is very bad. <laughs> yeah, she has connection issues. Yeah. Okay, so I guess she will be listening to you guys. Okay. Lifestyle. 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 So... I don't know, maybe one of them. He is selling? No. Which? Ah, uh, no. No. He uh, doesn't send. Uh, send what? The image. No, right. No. But I took the, a screen. Yeah, a screenshot, yes. Yes, Five important things to maintain a healthy lifestyle. It's something like um, if you want to have a good start, lifestyle, you should have drink a lot of drunk. You should drink a lot of water. Oh, drink, drink. Okay. You should sleep eight hours a day. Oh, okay. So things like that. Yeah, things that will help you improve your 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 lifestyle. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, uh, for the me, step, uh -huh. uh, step. 
Go ahead. For me, it's it it's important to have a a food, a healthy food. It's not necessary to eat only salad or or a little. How do you say raciones pequeñas? Small little, portions. Small, small, small portions. portions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to eat the carbohydrate. Carbohydratos, car Car carbohydrates, carbohydrate, protein, and another thing. Okay. I think the food is. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, teacher. Fine. Which which one are you doing right now? Uh, we don't have the image. <laughs> oh, the image. Just yes, have to yes, mention nice. five, five things to improve your lifestyle. Ah, okay. Yeah, five uh, we, men we mentioned um, to do home to do workout. Yes. Workout. Drink water, um, sleep eat, more. Eat healthy, yes. teacher. Eat healthy, eat, right? Mm -hmm. Eat healthy. Yes, eating eat healthy food. is very necessary. Yes, eat fruit and vegetables. Yes. Around. Mm -hmm. Okay. You say dormir lo suficiente. Sleep enough. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Enough. Sleep enough. 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 Yeah. Okay. You can or also say well. sufficient. Yeah. Sleep well. Exactly. Sleep mm -hmm. well. It's, it's, it's sleep well. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 So, which ones did you mention to improve your um to have a better healthy lifestyle uh for the first one we say that uh, you can take off the sugar of the diet good that's important and then do exercise at least three or four times a week good so no sugar mm -hmm. exercise what else? And more vegetables. Okay. More vegetables. What about fruits? Fruits mm. and vegetables. Fruits and, fruits and vegetables. Okay. What is your favorite fruit? Watermelon. Okay. And uh, Helen? Strawberries. Strawberries. And all the red fruits. Uh huh. Frutas rojas. That's yeah, red are fruits. My favorite. Yes. Those are my favorites. Yeah, the color of the fruit uh, represent the benefits that you receive. So red fruits, they have particular vitamins. Yellow ones, they have different vitamins. Different. Green ones, they have... What about vegetables? What is your favorite vegetable? Um, cassava. Huh? Cassava. Cassava. Creo que así se decía. Calabaza. Yuca. Oh, yuca. Cassava. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't remember. You can say yuca. Yuca is valid. You really? Say, yeah, you can say yuca. I didn't know it. Yes. So yuca is my favorite one. It's not the best vegetable for her body, but I like it. Okay, good. And you, Samuel? My favorite vegetable. Yes. I really enjoy the, the tomatoes. Okay. If I if I ate uh, tomatoes with lime and, and salt, oh my god, I really enjoy them. Okay. Do you prefer green tomatoes or ripe? Uh, uh what is the other the other type green. of of tomato? Green or ripe? Ripe. Uh, how, how do you write that word? Uh, R I P E. Ripe. R I P E. Uh, ripe. Ripe tomato. And that's what is the meat. Maduro. Rojos. Maduro. Ah, maduro. Yes. Like, so do you no, prefer? I, I, I prefer the ripe. Yeah. And ripe is more beneficial uh, for men, for the prostate. 
Because to, yeah, tomato has um, good benefits uh, for the prostate. So doctors tell you eat a lot of tomatoes, eat a lot of tomatoes. Yeah. So you both have to eat tomatoes. Yes, exactly. And, and yeah. the taste is good. I like tomatoes too. Mm -hmm. I like tomatoes. Yes, they, uh, and it's more delicious when they they are juicy okay <laughs> they are what uh, jugosos ah. Ju juicy. Juicy. juicy juicy yeah juicy mm -hmm. yeah all right hello 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 teacher did you finish with the five uh, tips, the five steps? We are, I agree on writing. <laughs> okay, well, so what is one of the steps that you mentioned? You have to, you have to get a, how do you say, Coralia? Mental, mental. Uh, a mental health. I say to Rocio that for me it's important to, to mental health because when you have, have a mental health, you complete your healthy your healthy life because because you you can have you can have a healthy a healthy life with a diet or with physics exercise is moving but if you don't have a mental health you feel very very incompatible okay. yeah incomplete um uh, and a little tip for a mental health is take a moment to be grateful for that you for that you have in your for life everything. good for everything yes for everything exactly yes. exactly mm -hmm. yeah that is very important that um you know, like, be thankful for the things that the person has. Yeah. You know, even if they're little, even if it's not enough, that's mm -hmm. what someone else is wishing in their lives, you know. So, mm -hmm. being thankful is very, very important. That's, yes. a, that's a very good point. Yes. yes. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, a day. Yes. Okay. The second... Exercise for a less 30, 30 minutes a day. Uh -huh. You should have made exercise 30 minutes a day. Yes. Uh, the second, you should have uh, eat healthy. And the number three? Mm -hmm. uh, I would recommend you drink eight glasses of water a day. Eight glasses of water a day, okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So, eight glasses of water a day. Good. All right, so I think it's almost time to go back to the main session again. Okay, okay. teacher.
Los viernes se desaparece, ya lo caché. Who disappears? I thought you were speaking about someone else. He was quiet. <laughs> Only listen. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's um can can you share um the steps or the tips that that um uh, that a person can apply to have a a better healthy lifestyle? <laughs> Anybody mention one? Um, do exercise. Do exercise. Very good. Another one? Eat healthy. Eat healthy. Very good. Now, what is healthy for you? What do you consider to be healthy? Eat fruit and vegetable. Good. Eat fruits and vegetables. Very good. Um, so, what else? Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Yes. Water is very necessary. Yep. What else? Yeah. Sleep eight hours. Sleep well. Sleep well. Yes. Sleep eight hours. So exercise. Yes, exercising. So exercise, eating well, sleeping well. Drinking water. We, we discussed in our group about um, the, I don't know how to say or what is the correct meaning. For example, the healthy mind, you have to, to Christian said that is intelligence emotional, but I don't know. Yes. Correct I think word. it's referred to mental health. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mental health. Mental yes. health. Okay, thanks. Very good. Yes. So other 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 good other good option in order to to have a healthy lifestyle is I think is try to drink one or two beers and avoid uh, buying in the box. Okay. <laughs> so two beers, uh, you recommend two beers. Two beers only. Every day or <laughs> weekly? Week weekends, weekends. To okay. be relaxed. To okay. be relaxed. I disagree with Ronald. I listen that it's important to drink one cup of wine, but ah yeah. Or yeah, piece right. of, of wine chocolate. Is yes. You could drink both. <laughs> but dark chocolate. Not. <laughs> yes, that is important. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like beer or wine, like someone said, you can drink both, you know, and, and have uh, symptoms the following day. Okay. <laughs> any, any other suggestions on how to improve your healthy lifestyle? Teacher. Uh, yes, sir. With Maria, we were talking about a very important option, uh, this great stress to, to both health problems. Mm, yeah. One more time, Fernando. I couldn't hear you. This this creates a stress to to avoid health problems. This, but, but what is the first word? Increase. Increase. Yes. This this creates a stress oh, to decrease. Decrease. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Avoid the stress. Yes. How can you? Uh, Increase the stress, you know, like exercising, sleeping well, drinking two beers, like Ronald said. <laughs> well, two, two beers is not enough, but something is something. Okay. Two or more. A, okay, a beer a day, keep the coronavirus oh. away. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a new idiom. Okay, so let's do the listening exercise. Please pay attention. I will mute everybody because I want everybody to. Okay, so pay attention. New share. This one here. Share computer. 
Here we go. Honey, the basketball game's about to start. And could you bring some chips and a bowl of ice cream and a slice of pizza from the fridge? Anything else? Nope, that's all for now. Hey, hon, you know, they're organizing a company basketball team, and I'm thinking about joining. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I was the star player in high school. Yeah, 25 years ago. Look, I just don't want you having a heart attack running up and down the court. So what are you suggesting? Should I just abandon the idea? I'm not that out of shape. Well... You ought to at least have a physical before you begin. I mean, it has been at least five years since you played at all. Well, okay, but... And you need to watch your diet and cut back on the fatty foods, like ice cream. Hmm. And you should try eating more fresh fruits and vegetables. Yeah, you're probably right. And you should take up a little weight training to strengthen your muscles, or perhaps try cycling to build up your cardiovascular system. Oh, and you need to go to bed early instead of watching TV half the night. Hey, you're starting to sound like my personal fitness instructor. Nah, I just love you and I want you to be around for a long, long time. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, how much did you understand from the audio? 60, 70, 80? 80. Okay, so let's check the answers. Um, the man, what does he want to do? Try, try out for the company basketball team. Basketball team. Okay, very good. Uh, the woman is worried that what? Uh, Her husband healthy is in good. Okay. You show the you show the answer, teacher. Right. Yes, and I, I, I don't know how to. Anyways, what about the other one? The woman suggests that her husband what? See a doctor, visit a fitness trainer, or start with a light workout? Which one? Visit a trainer. Visit a fitness trainer. Okay, visit a, fit, a, fit, a fitness trainer. Okay, so no, see a doctor. See a doctor. She mentions the word physical. Do you remember the word physical? Mm -hmm. When they say physical, they're making reference to a to an exam. And uh, what should the husband do? Eat more protein. Consume Eat less, less fatty food and eat less fatty food. Okay, good. Uh, any questions or comments with this one? I don't know why I'm showing the answers. Any questions or comments about this uh, activity? No? Okay, so we have exactly 10 minutes. Uh, Okay, go here. And this is the part we will discuss. Discuss advantages of employee surveillance programs in restaurant. So what are the advantages? Okay, do you see the the part that I highlighted? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so that's going to be your discussion. Let me see right here. So are there teacher. advantages or disadvantages? Teacher, uh, yes. what is the meaning of surveillance? Surveillance. surveillance. Does anybody know the meaning of surveillance? Vigilancia. Yeah. 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 Discuss advantages of employee surveillance. Vigilancia de los empleados. Yes. So you will discuss if this applies to your case in your company. 
Uh, do they have someone undercover? Do they have cameras? So, what are the advantages and also disadvantages? So, just let me make sure. Um, Jimmy, are you here? Jimmy is not here. Sofia, are you here? She's not here. Christian Alexander, are you here? No. Nope. And Stephanie Montano, are you here? No. Okay. So we got nine minutes. Just talk about the advantages and disadvantages of having surveillance for your employees. So here we go. Lewis. Hold my. We saw the. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I don't understand if if that um is for the things that employees have to do inside the the restaurant. Okay. Oh. No, it's it's the opposite. Um. In some companies, they have cameras to make sure that workers are doing what they're supposed to. So it's, it's just for general safety. So you have to discuss the advantages. And if you find, if you think that there are disadvantages, you have to mention them too as well. For example, um, in my case, in the company, in the... In the main storage 
uh, we put uh, cameras because we have a lot of face masks and for don't lose anything, we put um, that cameras. Right. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have, we, that's a very clear example, a good example. So you have to decide. The advantages is that there won't be any anybody taking things that don't belong to them. So you 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 say, look, it's a good advantage because you um, keeps people from taking things that they're not supposed to be taking. Uh, how would I can say desconfianza? Uh, distrust. Uh, it's no. It's not for distrust it's uh -huh. not it's more for security i think yeah yeah and, and not <laughs> only and, and not only for the workers but for external people oh okay yes, yes. Oh, okay thank All you right. teacher good and they review the 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 bots or or, mm -hmm. or each employees Mm -hmm. I don't know, Cateo. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. How do you say Cateo? Uh, when a, 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 a vigilance review the, the a people. That is a search, like search. buscar, search warrant. Search warrant. Wow. Yeah, search warrant. Yes. Ah, okay. So they they are searching, they are looking for things that shouldn't be happening, you know? Exactly. Yeah, so so it's like prevention. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, did you guys finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes, so nice. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Okay. Hi, Hello, how teacher. are you? Fine, talking. Okay. Good. Sure. Do you guys have plans for the weekend? Uh, yes, I work, have plans. Work and work. Okay, <laughs> work, work and work. Work, work. Yo, party, party, and party. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> no, my my brother is. Uh, it's His birthday. Birthday. Yes, his birthday. Your brother's Tomorrow, birthday. My brother's birthday, and we celebrate. Good. With the family. Very good. Nice. Yeah, so birthdays are, they happen only one time in the year. Yes. Okay. And for that reason, we are going to celebrate. Good. Good. Nice. And it, it's, uh, <laughs> that day is, 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 is so difficult. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Ladies and gentlemen, so make the story short. Is it good or bad to have cameras in your work? Is it good or bad? Good. For me, good it's option. Good. Yeah. It prevents many uh, unpleasant issues. So cameras is a very good tool for prevention. Um, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No? No, thank you. No. Okay, no. so once again, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I will be seeing you Monday, same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 No beers. <laughs> no beers. <laughs> <laughs>